Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops. Today, joined by Plena, reviewing more Swedish beer and more beer from Johan, my beer pusher in Sweden. So, thanks a ton to Johan for the beer, but also thanks to bestofbeers.dk for one of them because this is a two for one. We're reviewing two Imperial Stouts, the regular version and the barrel aged version. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know if they have the regular version on Best of Beers right now, but they do have the barrel aged version, which you can get on the web shop. So check them out. Link for them is down below. But we're checking out the Bibliothek Eternal Darkness Imperial Stout and Eter Eternal Darkness Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels. But it's made by Bibliothek and they recently switched to cans. Yeah. So that's why you see the bottle and the can. Uh, but the bottle was from Johan and the can is from Best of Beers. But this is a, he sent this out to me because he thought I might like it because I really like smoked beers. Mm. And this is a smoked imperial stout. Okay, And nice. then barrel aged as well. Funny enough, the regular version is at 11%, but the barrels gave a whole 0.5% to the beer. So mm. that's pretty crazy, but it should be interesting. So we got the Eternal Darkness regular version poured. And yeah, well, that's pretty, pretty pitch bike. Yeah. Maybe some slightly brown notes and then mm. a beige head. Yeah. Not the darkest of heads, but mm. well, let's check out the aroma. Smoky. <laughs> smells like peated whiskey. Like it's, I think that might be peated malt. It's got that kind of like when you smell an Isla whiskey, <laughs> that super peaty smoky. Wow. To be honest, I'm thinking blue cheese. <laughs> blue cheese? <laughs> Fuck, I can see that with the yeah. peat smoke. Because <laughs> blue cheese has a very specific, like a Dana blue, like a very strong Dana blue, yeah. Danish blue cheese. That has like an almost <laughs> smoky, it like has. funky aroma. Mm. It's not like, what? It sounds like a very bad thing. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. No, no, no. It's no. actually pretty it's awesome. not, It doesn't smell yeah. infected or anything, but the tarry smoke and peaty mm. smoke. I yeah. can definitely see that. <laughs> I think you might have just ruined uh, or just made me discover a new tasting or aroma note in, in peanut <laughs> beers and whiskeys. Wow. But it's also got some dark fruit underneath. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of charry, roasty, ashy notes. Like it smells like burnt wood pretty yeah, much. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Super In, in, in a kind of meaty, meaty way. A little bit, but more just like that peaty, yeah. burnt, smoky. <laughs> and apparently cheese. Let's give it a taste. Let's try it out. Cheers. And thanks Blue to Johan. Yeah, and this was the one from Johan, so <laughs> thanks a ton, Johan. More balance on the smoke on the flavor. It's definitely got smoke. Yeah. But it's not, oh yeah, okay, on the aftertaste, you're getting like super smoky licorice. Mm. This is like very Scandinavian-esque because like I'm, Scandinavian flavors are like, when you think Scandinavian, we love like salty, umami licorice. You're getting that in here because yeah. it's like savory and licorice-y. And then on top of that smoke, it's mm. mostly smoked fish you get here, but it's like smoky, licorice yeah. umami, soy saucy, maybe a little bit of dark fruit, not sweet at all. Oh, well, it's a little bit sweet. A little uh, bit, but on dry. But yeah, but the smoke is, I, I still say it's pretty meaty. Mm -hmm. um, like smoke sound, It doesn't sound remind me of the uh, blue cheese on the flavor. No, or it doesn't. It smells Dana blue. a bit like Dana blue, but it doesn't taste like it. I don't know why I got that too, but... I could, I could see where you're coming from, but it, like for like, it's, it reminds me of maybe more, yeah, as I said, one of the really roasty, ashy Imperial Stouts, and then like the amp, like the, the smoke really amplifies the, those flavors with licorice, mm -hmm. and I like, almost like burnt wood, and like not some subtle sweetness, a little bit of dark fruit, mm -hmm. but I think it's really nice, but let's try and move on to the barrel aged version, in bourbon barrels, it was right, 11.5 percent mm. it's pretty much the same color I, just, yeah, I don't see any difference same. maybe some i don't know if it's red or brown notes that's mm. in there but it still looks really nice in the glass and as i said a whole 0 0.5 percent higher yeah it's a bit lighter maybe the mm. barrel aged one but that sometimes happens with the barrels but let's check out the aroma on eternal darkness burn barrel aged. eternal darkness burn barrel aged smoke is more subtle on this one yeah i i don't really get much <coughs> i'm getting more licorice it smells much sweeter, and, and of course you get the, the, uh, bourbon, the bourbon, yeah, yeah but, it but it's not like much sweeter. But it, it, it's sweeter, but, but it's like bourbon, vanilla, charry mm. oak, 
then with subtleties of smoke, like that uh, peated smoke, yeah. but not as crazy amounts as in the bottle. And, and then, then more dark fruits yeah, than the other yeah, one. Yeah, had. Definitely, because the smoke hid a bit of the dark fruits. But it smells pretty nice, it's good mm. to taste. And thanks to Best of Beers for this one. Definitely sweeter. Yeah. Ah, the smoke is more there on the flavor though. Not less of it though. No, no, but it's no. more there. But it's it's crazy how much the smoke faded in the barrel. Yeah. And like how much the sweetness from the barrel kind of overtook that mm. smoke flavor compared to the bottle, like the regular Eternal Darkness. That's super peaty. Yeah. Whereas this is more balanced, maybe. Like super balanced. You get a little bit of smoke. You get some of the dark fruits more. Mm. You get more of the licorice and the, like the it still has that charry, roasty, eshy thing. Yeah. And then you get the sweetness from like the barrels, like that sweet bourbon with a little bit of vanilla and like charry oak. Yeah, whereas in um, this one, the uh, smoke is very... Um, in your face. Yeah, it's in your face and it's uh, overshadowing the other tastes. Uh, but that's what bit. I think they meant it to be like. This yeah. is a really big smoking barrel. And to much, I really think like. that is really good. Um, I actually think for once I might like the uh, regular version over the barrel aged. Because this is more mellow, yeah. but like, of course fl flavors mellow out and you get a bit more complexities. But I actually kind of like that big smack of smoke yeah. in the f face. To make it even crazier, they should have aged this like in a scotch whiskey barrel or mm -hmm. in an Isla whiskey barrel to go get like really crazy just smoke and wood and burnt campfire. Yeah. I don't think it would be too much though because it's quite smoky, but I've had smokier beers. I actually one time had a 100% smoked beer by Nugner, which I think I reviewed on the channel, which was just fucking crazy. A bit too much, but... So you inhale it because it's 100% No, no, 100% peated malt. Okay. That's yeah, okay, it. yeah. So, but I still think both are, both are pretty nice beers. Mm. Mm. Ready-wise, though. So, as I said, I actually prefer the regular Eternal Darkness to the Bourbon Barrel Age version. And I'm going to go like a 93 on that one. Mm. And then a 91 on the Barrel Age version. It really depends on what you like because yeah. this one is way more the barrel yeah. aged one is way more balanced and this one is smoky yeah. <laughs> um, if you're more into super PD and smoky things mm. get the non barrel aged if you're into more balance in your imperial stouts and sweetness just with hints of the smoke get the barrel aged yeah. or get both like we did and have them side by side <laughs> that's fun to do sometimes but yeah uh, 93 and 91 so 93 for the regular 91 for the barrel aged I say 92 for both. Same but different. Same but different. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that does it for the review of the Bibliothèque Eternal Darkness and the Bourbon Barrel Aged Edition. Thanks a ton to both Johan and Best of Beers for these. Really fun to try. But let us know what you thought of the Bibliothèque Eternal Darkness and the Barrel Aged version if you had a chance to try them. Thanks again to Johan and Best of Beers for them. And as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're going to say cheers in some super peaty, smoky, like also quite dry. Yeah. You can feel that on your tongue. Like both of them are like medium mouthfeel, quite dry. Got that out of the way too. Imperial Stouts. Mm. <laughs> See you guys in another beer review.